The weather, we have been tracking storms that are headed our way. Of course, Derek, you have been tracking them. Um, are we going to see some of that rain tonight? Is it going to go into tomorrow? What can we expect? Yeah, it looks like, Kelsey, we're seeing some of it right now. And some is actually pretty heavy. We've been hearing it here on the roof of the station here uh, when some of those heavier downpours make their way through the region. And we've got more on the way here for tomorrow, although we're going to add a severe weather element to the storms here for tomorrow evening. So let's get right to you and show you the radar now. Zooming into Baltimore City, you can see some some of those heavier downpours that continue to make their way across the region. The areas of yellow and red indicate some of those heavier downpours that you've probably been experiencing here. Some of the rainfall uh, rates that we've been seeing here, upwards of two inches per hour, particularly just to the southeast of Cockeysville and north of Towson, you can kind of see there. And so these rainfall rates are the reason why we have this flash flood watch in effect here for later on uh, through later on tonight through about 2 a.m. and you can see the bands continue to lift north. We're getting a break on the west sides of town now, but there is actually more coming in from the west. This is in Howard County, and you can see these decent downpours extending through Clarksville all the way up towards areas around Glen Ellen, West Friendship, heading out west on 70 up into Carroll County as well. So again, the heavy rain threat overnight tonight with the warm front lifting northward through the area. Then we've got an alert day here for tomorrow, and that's mainly going to be for severe storms during the afternoon and evening. I do think we're going to see some clouds in the morning, and that's going to be key. That's the thing you need to watch tomorrow. If we stay socked in with clouds through the afternoon hours, that's going to cut down on the heating from the sun. Therefore, the severe weather threat won't be nearly as high. But if we see any period of significant sunshine tomorrow, that's going to heat things up, provide the fuel for the storms later. And it looks like tomorrow the threat is going to be for wind damage from some of these storms. Right now, 75 out at BWI Thurgood Marshall, low to mid-70s over on the eastern shore, out towards western Maryland as well. So again, it looks like those showers and storms will continue here for the next couple of hours. We'll see a break tomorrow morning. We'll see if we can get some sunshine to break out. You don't really Really want to see that much sun tomorrow, especially with the threat for severe weather that we're expecting. Uh, but if we do happen to see some sun, when this triggering mechanism that you see firing off storms east of St. Louis had some tornadoes in central Illinois tonight, when this trigger heads our way for tomorrow afternoon, if we do have a lot of sunshine, it's going to spark off severe thunderstorms across our area. We do have an enhanced risk that's a level three of five, includes most of the state. Uh, that's what we're looking at here. The pink area is the area that we're looking at the potential for significant wind damage, really from southern Maryland all the way up towards the Frederick area. So right in this little purple area of this pink area, which includes the city of Baltimore. As far as the tornado threat's concerned, you can see the scale up at the uh, top of the screen here. So it's on the lower end, but we do have a 5% tornado threat here for tomorrow, which is really one of the more substantial threats we've seen all season long. So we're going to be looking at that possibility of some isolated tornadoes with some of the storms, but wind damage and flood Flash flooding will be the higher threats here with any storms that do happen to occur here for tomorrow. Let me show you how this is going to play out. Now, this is assuming that we get some sunshine in the afternoon. By about 1 or 2 o'clock, we're going to start seeing some storms firing up here near the Blue Ridge. And as they head east, they're going to start congealing into a line. So we're going to be watching for a line of uh, storms that's going to push through. Maybe we'll get several rounds of storms here through I'd say the 3, 4, 5 o'clock time frame all the way through 7, 8 o'clock for shifts over towards the eastern shore. And it looks like by this time tomorrow night, it should be wrapping up. But again, looks like tomorrow could be an ugly day depending on how things have pan out here across the area. So here's your planning forecast for tomorrow. Again, dry in the morning. We'll have clouds around. We'll see how early the sunshine can start peaking out. Once it does, temperatures will skyrocket to the upper 80s to around 90. And then those storms coming in after about 2 or 3 o'clock and continue through the evening hours. Here's your first alert seven day forecast. Again, alert day for tomorrow for the threat for severe weather. We'll keep you updated here tomorrow morning on WJZ News uh, here starting in the morning. And then on your noon show, we'll keep you updated throughout the afternoon as well. Drive for Tuesday, Wednesday, and then more storms coming in Thursday and then again into the weekend. Kelsey, back to you. All right, Derek, thank you. Check in tomorrow morning on WJZ starting at 430 for updated news, weather, and traffic.